From the station with the most local news in our West Michigan, Fox 17 News at 10 starts right now. We're looking to create a culture in which every member is valued. Eliminating harm is part of creating that culture. First at 10, survivors of sexual abuse could get more time to take action under a series of bills proposed by a group of state lawmakers. The House Criminal Justice Committee will hear testimony on their potential impact during a meeting tomorrow. Fox 17's Marisa Oberly joins us live in the newsroom with a preview of this tonight. Marisa. Josh, the access to justice bills follow a series of scandals like the ones at Michigan State University with Larry Nassar and the University of Michigan with Dr. Robert Anderson. They aim to create more accountability. It's the package of bills that advocates believe would offer more tools to survivors of sexual abuse. It allows us to see what has actually been done to create opportunity to cause harm. Mm -hmm. And then when that person has an opportunity to go before the courts and say, you know, this is what I've experienced and we have this background understanding, then they can heal. Cherie Thomas, Deputy Director of the Michigan Coalition to End Domestic and Sexual Violence, explains on Tuesday, state representatives in Lansing will decide whether to advance the access to justice bills, a bipartisan legislative package that would, among other things, increase Michigan's statute of limitations to age 52, establish a two-year revival window for survivors whose limitations previously expired and limit governmental immunity in some cases. When a person experiences sexual assault, one of the things that we know that happens is the way that the brain actually encodes the information changes because it goes into protective mode. You know, no longer are you thinking critically with the frontal part of your brain, but the survival part of your brain engages and by allowing them to heal and to actually know factually it wasn't their fault. It allows for that that space for us to actually hear it in the way that makes sense for us to hear it. And when I say us, I mean the general population, the courtroom, you know, the people who are actually going to be making that decision. Representative Julie Brixey introduced the bills in April. She says similar reforms passed in 2018 did not go far enough. For example, when lawmakers then eliminated the statute of limitations for first degree criminal sexual conduct cases, it only applied to incidents that occurred after that year. If we want to stop harboring sexual predators, we need to change our laws because our laws um, harbor sexual predators and pedophiles. It's unclear how many survivors could now seek further justice, but Brixey and Thomas hope it offers them peace. You know, hopefully we'll get to a point where um, the stigmas surrounding uh, childhood sex abuse and sex abuse in general are um, removed and people feel more free to come forward and talk about what happened to them. Now, lawmakers have also introduced a survivor's bill of rights, which would require things like a free shower to those who got an exam at a hospital. At this time, though, it has not been taken up by a committee. We, of course, will keep you updated both on this story on air and online at fox17online.com. Reporting in the newsroom tonight, Marisa Overly, Fox 17 News.